The number of people working from home has been rising over the last decade, with the Cotswolds and West Oxfordshire among the most popular areas of the country for home working. In the UK as a whole, around 13% of people do some work from home. In West Oxfordshire, it's 19% and 20% in the Cotswolds. So what are the pros and cons? Angela Walker has been finding out. The Oxfordshire Rural Community Council says some villages have hundreds of people working from home who don't know each other. That's where places like the picnic hamper in Chalgrove come in. We have uh, networking events. Um, so the late breakfast networking event is a really good one which regularly has 50 to 60 people and we also have a business biscotti which is a coffee morning event uh, really good for getting out of your house and meeting other people who run businesses from their homes as well based on the monument business park people can host events here without making a long-term commitment this has obviously got many units and different businesses in each unit which have different needs. So the thing that this community place and space means is that people can get together and meet and share ideas and just be social. And being social is a lot of part of, of good business anyway. But for many in rural areas, slow broadband is a deterrent. If that's addressed, more people are likely to ditch the office. Angela Walker, BBC South Today. At one time it was thought about 30 or 40 percent of us might be working from home by now, but that's not happened. Dr Benjamin Reed from the think tank The Work Foundation tell me why. Well, I think there are a balance of uh, pressures as to, as to, as to the driving towards more home working, but, but also ones that are, are discouraging it, perhaps related to some of the disadvantages. I think some are of the driving forces towards it are more part-time work and more self-employment, certainly since the beginning of the recession, and that has uh, made people uh, work from home more, and that's part of why we're seeing a rise. But on the other hand, I think many organisations are still nervous about having people too far away, uh, that then they want to develop a strong organisational culture, which is built on uh, close interaction and people are working together closely. People can run their businesses from home, we've seen that, but what about employees? What's the most common jobs for people to be doing from home? Well, the vast majority of uh, people who are working from home as employees are knowledge workers, and that could be people in the creative industries or media. It could be uh, managers and executives across uh, all sorts of uh, different industries. It's most likely to be those knowledge workers who have that opportunity to work from home, though. There are obvious advantages from working from home. It saves time on travel, for example, and maybe in some cases saves money on childcare. But what are the disadvantages of working from home? Um, I think certainly an, an element of loneliness that people uh, miss the camaraderie uh, uh, and the possibility of, uh, of sharing knowledge and sharing issues and, and, and problems. Um, I think uh, also there's some data in the research that shows you may miss out on progression, out of sight, out of mind. That was Benjamin Reid, thank you. Thank you.